What's up guys? Welcome to the show. Um, this is my second art show here in LA. This one is called Glorious Excess. It's a, a little bit of a departure from my last show, stylistically and thematically. Uh, this one deals more with kind of pop culture and the red carpet and celebrity lifestyle as seen from my perspective. This show definitely has a, a different twist. There's a kind of a main character and in each of the pieces you'll see this main character kind of experience different facets of celebrity life. This venue is the Japanese American National Museum here in Los Angeles. I've been kind of friends with these folks for a little while, uh, donated to their museum before. I really think it's a great place uh, to get familiar with you know, Japanese American culture and history. Growing up, I used to hang out in this area. We'd come here for New Year's, come here for Christmas. This show will be running here at JANM for the rest of the month from July 12th through August 3rd. So if you're in town, please come check it out. This one is, is funny because I was working on this on the road. I wanted to come up with all my own original headlines on the tabloid cover. But I asked for like help from all the guys in the band and Mr. Delson here came up with the best celebrity baby name, Pomegranate. I didn't notice until I looked at it carefully, the dollar signs. Like it seems so obvious, but I was looking at it from back there and I didn't see that. Most weird, like because you've seen this image on the little flyers and on the website and stuff. Most people just think it's pointillism or think it's a sketch or some kind of paint thing. But it's actually, I hand placed each one of those dollar signs and the uh, computer. I started with a sketch on this one and then I, I added the dollar signs. I scanned and individually cut and pasted each dollar and yen. Scanned it, shrunk it, printed it, and then hand cut it and pasted it? Yeah, hand cut and pasted each one with glue, and then painted over the dollar signs. There's spray paint involved, mm -hmm. there's acrylic and a lot really of different nice. media. Gloss in that medium to help it like get that kind of shine. This triptych is called Wine, Women, and Song. I wanted to do that sex, drugs, and rock and roll thing for this character. When I came up with the idea for the show, I knew I had to do a, a, the trilogy. But the toughest one was this one, because he's not a musician, so what makes him, what's his rock and roll, what's his thing? He's all about the tabloids, he's all about coverage online and all that. It's more in the lifestyle than an actual talent. He doesn't make music, he just lives that lifestyle. All the pictures of the, the musicians and celebrities on this background are either like a picture of them getting in trouble or a mugshot. So you've got Paul McCartney getting arrested, You've got Jim Morrison's mugshot, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, Axel. They're all, you know, in trouble. They're all bad boys. This one is more straightforward. This one I actually did a lot of it in the computer. Um, we did like a half tone kind of thing here. I wanted to keep driving home that like low resolution idea because we all take in our news and take in our celebrity obsession in like the smallest, most easily transmitted resolution possible. The show is about to begin. Um, we're just having a little pre-party. I've invited some friends, hanging out, looking at the art, enjoying the food and enjoying the music. And then we'll be opening the doors and inviting some of you guys in to get some autographs and things. Looking forward to that. Thank you very much for supporting the work. This is how it goes. Welcome one and all to the show. We're wired up, fired up, fucking ready to go. In the Hi, my name is Eric Lovanos. I'm from the LPU. And we're here at the Japanese American National Museum checking out Mike's new artwork entitled Glorious Exodus. It'll be running for about a month. You guys can pick up uh, artwork. They have skateboard decks and books. What's up? My name is Mike from the LPU. And I came from Shanghai, China, man. Shanghai, China. That's halfway across the world, man. And I'm here just for this, baby. So this is the book. This actually is a really good book to kind of like guide you through conceptually the ideas that made up the show. All the little quotes and the little things that kind of built the uh, themes that are represented in the uh, Glorious Excess show. Thanks bro. Do you know where you are right now? I don't want this to be like a downer or anything, but it's, it's this is very real. The structure we're actually signing in is actually a barrack from World War II that they kept the Japanese Americans in. My dad and my family was kept in a barrack like this when they were in, in the internment um, during the war. And what the museum has done is they actually took one of these barracks and they reassembled it right here inside the middle of the museum. It's weird to think that like in the 40s my dad and his family were like basically prisoners in a building like this. And today I'm here sitting inside one signing autograph. Now the names have been changed but the story's true. My family was locked up back in 42. My family was there where it was dark and damp and they called it an internment camp. 
So it looks like we're getting to the end of the night here. If any of you guys missed out on the show tonight and you wanted one of these awesome books, the skate decks or the prints, uh, which are all signed, if there's anything left, they will be at MikeShinoda.com. You know, every dollar spent, every everything you buy goes to uh, the Japanese American National Museum and to my scholarship at Art Center, so it's definitely a good cause. It's been really great. Uh, fans are great. The museum was great. All the sponsors uh, who helped make the event a possibility. DC, uh, James Irvine Foundation, WeMix, Machine Shop pitched in as well, and, and, and everybody that helped out with the show. Uh, I appreciate it very much, and um, I guess we'll see you in January for the continuation of the show. Um, and that's it for tonight. Thanks for coming.